Hello again, fellow virtual consultants. Thank you for joining us for our next episode in our IFTTT If This Then That tutorial, where in this video we're going to show you how to automatically share YouTube videos to Twitter. So again, in this uh, next episode of our IFTTT If This Then That tutorial, we'll show you step by step how to create an IFTTT applet to automatically share your YouTube videos to Twitter. Again, we'll show you in detail how to create that applet, how to put it in production, how to connect it, how to run it in production, verify the results, do any maintenance that is warranted, and then have it run in the background and save you time, effort, and money, and also that of your virtual consulting clients, so that rather than manually having to cross-post tweets to Twitter every time a new YouTube video is published on your YouTube channel or that of your virtual consulting clients, your IFTTT app, applet will be doing that automatically for you in the background and therefore uh, saving you the time, effort, and money uh, and that of your virtual consulting clients by automating your business using IFTTT. So we'll get started and again we'll show you how to automatically share YouTube videos to Twitter using If This Then That IFTTT. If you have not already seen our first episode in our IFTTT If This Then That tutorial titled How to Get Started with IFTTT If This Then That, and we would highly recommend that you view that video uh, as that explains what IFTT is, how IFTTT works, how IFTT may be used to automate your business, how to set up your IFTTT account, and then how you may offer and sell your automated services using if this and that as additional value and benefits to your virtual consulting clients. So again, if you have not already viewed episode number one in our If This Then That IFTTT tutorial, we would highly recommend that you also view that video as that again shows you how to get started, how to get set up with IFTTT. You should be able to find the link to episode number one in our IFTTT tutorial in the description box below, and we hope that also helps. Okay, let's create our new applet to post a video that's published in a YouTube channel to Twitter with the appropriate message using if this then that IFTTT. So I'm logged into my account in IFTTT. If I click on my applets and I click on the create button, again, I get a template of an if this then that applet. I can add the if this portion. I can search for what my triggering event I want. In this case, I want a YouTube event. We can see again what the potential triggers I can use in YouTube as the if this portion. So I can do a new video from search. Uh, when a new video is published that matches a search query, a new liked video, when you like a video, a new subscription, when a new subscription is made by a specific channel, a new video by channel. So every time a specific channel publishes a video, a new playlist, every time a new playlist is created by a channel, a new public video, every time you upload a new public video to YouTube, a new public video sub from subscriptions. So every time a specific user you are subscribed to makes a new public video, a new super chat, every time a new super chat is issued in a live chat during a live stream on your channel, a new membership on your channel, a new super sticker in a live chat during a live stream on your channel. So in this case, again, we want a new uh, public video uploaded by you. So when this trigger fires every time you upload a new public video to YouTube. So we'll select that one. And you can see I already have my YouTube channel connected in IFTTTT. 
If you have not already uh, connected and authorized your YouTube channel, it will ask you to do so. And you can see examples of that in episode one in this IFTTT tutorial and several of the other videos therein. So we'll go ahead and we'll create our trigger. So now we've got our triggering, our if this portion, that when a new public video is uploaded by you. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to post the message to Twitter. So we search to Twitter, see what we can do in Twitter. We can post a tweet. We can post a tweet with an image or we can upload a profile picture. In this case, we want to post a new tweet. Again, I already have our Twitter account connected. And if not, it will ask you to connect and authorize your Twitter account. Here, it's just got a generic tweet, just the title and the URL. I want to copy paste a, a formatted message that I've got that I use for tweets for this channel. So I will just copy paste that in. I'll leave those placeholders because I can reuse them. So I want to insert the title in the appropriate place. So I, you can see I've got hashtags. I've got the title in quotes. So I'll paste the title placeholder there. I want the URL after the pointer. So I'll put the URL there. So now again, you can see I have a nicely formatted uh, tweet. I just reused. I can keep some of these hashtags that are generic. I can add text or hashtags, etc. We can see what other ingredients we can use. So if I wanted to use any of these other ingredients that are coming in from the triggering event from the YouTube video, I can add that. In this case, we'll keep it simple. I'll use just that, create the action, continue, receive notification. So if a new public video is uploaded, post a tweet to the BCF Twitter account, say finish, notify me, and we'll try polling. Again, there are no currently new videos, but it will be working. So we will come back and verify that that new applet uh, posts a tweet to the VCF Twitter account when a new public video is uploaded to the Virtual Consulting YouTube channel after we have actually uh, uploaded a new video. If I go to my applets, now I can see I've got that applet and it's connected and active from Twitter or from YouTube to Twitter. So if a new public video is uploaded, post a tweet to add the VCF. So again, you can see how quick and easy it is to produce an applet and connect your YouTube social media marketing and Twitter, automate that, save you time, energy, and money. And again, you can something you can do for your virtual consulting clients, offer this as a service for additional revenue, help them automate their business, automate their digital media marketing, their social media marketing and Twitter, uh, and also save time, effort and money as well. So you can see how quick and easy it is to get the applet created active, connected, etc. And then again, after we actually publish a new video in that virtual consulting channel, we'll come back and verify the results. Okay, now we can see that there's been a new video published, public, publicly published in our virtual consulting YouTube channel. So now we can go and verify the results of our various IFTTT applets that are triggered based on an if this uh, event, based on a new video being uploaded to our virtual consulting YouTube channel. So again, now we can go and verify the results, see that the output is as we would like it to be, and then make any further modifications, updates accordingly. So let's go verify uh, the output of those applets that are based on the upload and publication of a public video in our virtual consulting YouTube channel.
Okay, let's verify the results of our IFTTT, if this and that applet that was expected to post a tweet to Twitter when a new public video was uploaded to our virtual consulting YouTube channel. So as we just saw, we've had, since we created this applet, turned it on, connected it, turned it on. We've had a new video uploaded on the virtual consulting YouTube channel. So now let's verify that this executed as we expected and would like. So we can go ahead and view the activity on this applet. And we can see that as of 12 a.m. on the 30th, and we saw that video was published five hours ago, so on the same day, so right after that was published, this was triggered, the applet ran, it found a new public video, we can see uh, the details, the applet, it found the applet that was most recently published, or the YouTube video that was recently published, we can see the tweet that it posted, so please check out the latest YouTube video, etc., with the hashtags that we entered. So now we can go over to Twitter, the BCF Twitter account, which is the expected place where it output. And we can see approximately six hours ago, a new tweet was generated. And it says, please check out the latest how to create your own with the hashtags that we expected. We can test the link, make sure that the link is to the latest video that was just published, which it is. So again, it looks like our IFTTT application worked as, as we expected it to. If we don't like, uh, you know, the final format of that uh, tweet, we can always then go back and modify our IFTTT applet uh, by simply uh, going back. And hitting the settings. And then if we want to edit that, we can make any changes to the text that we would like to uh, update the tweet, the format, the output of the tweet, and update that action. Uh, for now, it looked uh, okay, so we can leave it as is. But at any point in time, we can always go back and edit the output of the tweet uh, based on a new video being uploaded. So as we can see, that uh, applet, that IFTTT applet, worked as we wished, as expected. Uh, and so we can leave it uh, connected and in production at this point in time. Uh, so hopefully in this video, we've shown you how you can use an IFTTT applet to automatically share your YouTube videos to Twitter and or those of your virtual consulting clients and how you can use, again, an IFTTT, if this, then that applet to automatically share your YouTube videos to Twitter and how you could have this run in the background, save yourself the manual effort of having to cross post tweets to Twitter uh, every time a new video is published in your YouTube channel and how you can also offer this as a service to your virtual consulting clients to either create an IFTTT applet for them and or uh, run it for them to automatically tweet to Twitter when they publish a YouTube video to their YouTube channel and therefore a potential additional source of revenue for your virtual consulting business. So again, hopefully this has all shown you how to automatically share YouTube videos to Twitter using IFTTT. Please let us know what you think of all this. Uh, let us know how much more productive uh, and efficient this will help your virtual consulting business and that of your virtual consulting clients. Let us know in the comments below, in our free Discord, in our Facebook group, etc. And let us know what else you would like to see on how to automate your business, your virtual consulting business, using IFTTT. So again, we hope this all helps and have a great day. So hopefully this all helps you see how much time, effort, and therefore money that you can save by creating applets and running them in production using IFTTT, if this and that, and also how offering this as an additional service to your virtual consulting 
clients, can also help them save time, effort, and therefore money and be of benefit, further benefit to them as well. So again, another uh, potential automation service that you can offer to your virtual consultant, consulting clients uh, to create, run, monitor, etc., update, maintain uh, IFTTT applets for them. And again, something that you can use for your own virtual consulting business to make you more productive, more efficient, uh, and therefore hopefully more profitable and more successful in your virtual consulting business. So uh, we hope this all helps. Let us know what you think and any other applets that you would like to see in future videos. So again, we hope this all helps. If you have any questions regarding how to get started with IFTTT that were not already answered in our how to get started video, any comments, etc., any requests for additional applets that you would like to create, or if you have any questions regarding how to create particular applets with IFTTT, please put them in the comments underneath the video below. You can also put your questions and comments and feedback, etc., in our virtual consulting community discord for which you will find an invite in the description box below so again if you have any questions comments etc about any of the videos in our ifttt if this and that tutorial please let us know in the comments below the video in our discord in our facebook group etc and we will try to respond and facilitate uh, any of those requests as soon as we are able so we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching our videos. Please hit the notify bell icon and subscribe to our Virtual Consulting 101 YouTube channel so that you'll be notified as we release further video episodes in our IFTTT If This Then That tutorial and other videos that can help you grow and succeed in your virtual consulting business. So we hope this helps. This video and the Virtual Consulting YouTube channel is powered by the Virtual Consulting Firm. Please also visit and follow us on social media via the links that you may find on our About page. In the top right, you can link to our Virtual Consulting homepage. You can follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. You can also find our web hosting company and if you scroll to the bottom, you'll find additional links to some of our other social media sites, our Facebook site, our Instagram site. Also, we have, uh, we hope you will join us in the Virtual Consulting Facebook group where we can discuss any topics and you can ask any questions related to virtual consulting and we'd be happy to help you succeed in your virtual consulting business, get started. Uh, and succeed in your virtual consulting business and also our Pinterest and again the web hosting company that we use for our homepage. So again we hope you will also choose to follow us on our social media sites, visit us, let us know what you think of all this, how can we help you. We hope this all helps and have a great day. We would also like to cordially invite you to join us in the new Virtual Consulting Community Discord server. You should be able to find an invite in the description box below and or in the link section on our website on the Virtual Consulting Firm homepage, which you can also find a link to in the description box below at the vcf.com. And again, we'd like to invite you to join us and discuss any topics related to virtual consulting, etc., any help that you would need uh, in the Virtual Consulting Community Discord server is free to join. Uh, again, any topics you want to discuss, any help you would like to have to succeed in your virtual consulting business, uh, we can discuss those topics there and hopefully our fellow virtual consultants will help each other out and benefit, mutually benefit from participating in the new Virtual Consulting Community Discord server. So we look forward to seeing you there. Again, you can find an invite in the description box below in the About page 
of our YouTube channel in the link section of our homepage, thevcf.com. And again, we look forward to joining you in the Virtual Consulting Community Discord server. Thank you. Please help us be able to continue to produce frequent quality content to help you learn how to get started and succeed in virtual consulting as a virtual consultant by supporting virtual consulting via our Patreon at patreon.com slash virtual consulting. Again, this is totally voluntary. If you would wish to provide us with your support, we would greatly appreciate, appreciate it. You can see you can uh, receive additional benefits and we hope to be able to add additional benefits to each of these membership levels uh, any of which you may choose and again we'll be adding uh, additional benefits to each membership level as we are able so again if you're able to help support us in being able to produce frequent quality content and additional benefits for our patreons uh, we hope you will choose to select a membership in our Patreon at patreon.com slash virtual consulting. We thank you for your support. Good luck and have a great day. Thank you for watching our video to the end. We hope that you liked it. Please smash the like button to help the YouTube al algorithm share our videos with more of your fellow virtual consultants around the world. Please share this on your social media and with your other virtual consultants around the world. If you're not already subscribed to our virtual consulting YouTube channel, we hope that you will choose to subscribe and please hit the bell icon to be notified as we release new content. Please provide us with your feedback in the comments below. Let us know how we can help you be more successful as a virtual consultant, get started as a virtual consultant, and be successful in your virtual consulting business. Again, thank you for watching our video to the end. We hope this all helps and have a great day. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available in the box in the lower left-hand corner. We hope you like this and have a great day.